On March 28, 1990, Michael Jordan scored 69 points in an overtime win versus the Cleveland Cavaliers as he pulled up and slashed in for whatever he wanted. But you know what Jordan never did? Score 70 points. You know who has? Devin Booker. And Booker did it at the age of 20. Now obviously this isn't me saying that Devin Booker is better than, or will ever be better than Michael Jordan. That would be so much blasphemy in the eyes of basketball that I would have to delete my channel. But I am using this comparison to point out just how great Devin Booker could really be. Devin's 70 point game is the highest scoring game since Kobe's 81 point game versus the Toronto Raptors. Scoring that many points in an NBA game is unbelievable for a veteran legend, let alone a 20 year old second year player whose career high in college was 19 points. So, I want to talk about Devin Booker. First, I want to look at his stats and compare it to other legendary shooting guards in their second seasons. Devin Booker currently averages 21.6 points, 3.2 assists, and 3.2 rebounds on 43% field goal shooting and 36% from three. Now those percentages aren't the best, but they aren't awful, and for 21 points per game at the age of 20, I'm gonna live with it. So now to compare him with other legends, Kobe Bryant averaged 15.4 points per game in his second season, Ray Allen averaged 19.5 points in his second season, Reggie Miller averaged 16 points in his second season, Clyde Drexler averaged 17.2 points in his second season, and T-Mac averaged 9 points in his second season. Devin really is in some elite company, and he joined even more elite company in his 70-point game. Booker is one of six players to ever score 70 or more points in a game. That list includes Wilt Chamberlain, Kobe Bryant, David Thompson, Elgin Baylor, David Robinson, and now Devin Booker. But outside of his stats, perhaps the most impressive part about Devin Booker is his clutch factor. By the end of Devin's career, when someone makes a compilation video of all of his game winners and clutch shots, I wouldn't be surprised if that video was well over 15 minutes long. This guy is clutch. He's hit multiple game winners this season and he has become the go-to guy down the stretch for the Phoenix Suns this season. When Booker was scouted in college, many scouts saw him as just another shooter. And while Booker is a great shooter for sure, I wouldn't say that that's all he has to offer. In his 70 point game, he only hit 6 threes, which, if you don't feel like doing math, I don't blame you, is only 18 points. He had to score those other 52 points somehow. A lot of it was in the mid-range. Booker can hit shots from mid with defenders all over him. He just has the feel and touch required to not let defenders bother him when he pulls up or faces up for mid-range jumpers. His ability to get to the rim I also feel is underrated. He's not particularly quick or aggressive going to the rim, but he has smooth handle getting there, and most importantly when he gets to the rim, he doesn't panic. He can shoot floaters, reverses, he can shoot short little jumpers, or he can even hook if necessary. He can also finish through a lot of contact. You also noticed if you watched Booker's highlights in his 70 point game that he wasn't slowing down on defense. He got plenty of steals in that game when he blocked Isaiah Thomas on the break. 80% of defense is effort, the other 20% is physical attributes, athleticism, height, and muscle. And while Booker doesn't have much of the physicality, he can hold his own with the effort. And a young player, only at the age of 20 with Booker's scoring ability, that wants to play defense with the way Booker does, is very impressive. Booker has a bright future in the NBA and I'm excited to see where he goes with his career. And I read a really awesome tweet after the game that said, Devin Booker scored 70 points in an NBA game before he could legally drink alcohol. That's just awesome. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more NBA content like this, as well as check out my What If Chris Paul Was Traded to the Lakers video. And with that, I'm out and cue the outro music.